when I didn't have a space, I'll take a moment and just close my eyes and imagine it. But when I have a space, I can literally just bring stuff out and test it out for the day. For me, it's about first to know about the person so I can get in um, and then document them in that direction. Uh, that's for me information about the person I want to photograph. And then secondly, the techniques, which is the lighting, the angles that works best for the subject in front of me. Um, and I like to experiment before the day. So the shoot I did today was uh, one of the things I usually do when I feel like uh, I wanted to experiment with light. I've been curious and fascinated with uh, one light setup for a while now. I'm trying to put together a, an Afrocentric collection and right now I'm working on Gili. Gili is Yoruba word for headgear. So um, I'm just taking photos of people wearing Gili. Um, and it was just those two things coming together. Me needing to test light, needing to create photos of Gili. It was a very directional light. Um, and the fall off to dark was very, very quick and short also. And I like, I like the punch and the contrast of that. It really draws you in and makes you want to see what's, what, what's behind, what's behind there, what's behind there. This muscle and blood compartment that I live in, which is my body. So my body is my personal space. And for that, uh, I usually have my beads on me. Um, uh, and one of the things I have on me is actually a sign um, of my energy and I feel like it helps me to stay grounded uh, and I like to always have it on. It, I just usually will just reach for it and I and I really like the like the assurance or the, the, the comforting feel it gives to me. I like to have nature in my space so that would be plant. Uh, you'd always find plants in there. Um, for my artistic practice though, my camera would always be close by. Um, I literally go nowhere without my camera.